Okay, welcome back to Let's Play Jedi Knight. So we're getting towards the end of the mission here. Um, there are some, well, most of the secret areas are towards the end here, so we got these lifts that are taking us up. Up and up and up. Health pack there. I don't want to go all the way up right away. There's actually one over here. If we jump to that ledge, then we can just kind of run up against the wall to get onto that ledge there, and there you have it. There's a armor vest and a Bacta tank, which we could once again use one of the ones we have and grab that. I think you're only allowed to hold a few of them at once. Uh, maybe like four of them. So now I'm going to wait for it to come back and get me. Okay, we're going to go down. And there we go, we found this ledge underneath the conveyor belt. Um, there we go, here's my, here's my light, Let's see what's under here. I'm just going to drop down over here. There's one more secret area hidden in this room. Any time now, lift. Jump on one of these boxes and then jump up above that opening. And there you go. There you found it. So now what I'm going to do is wait for that lift to come back down. And I'm going to jump to it because I'm basically going to let it take me to the top. So. Yeah, this, um, I mean, this this mission can get a little tedious. The beginning of the game can be a little tedious for you if you're not too into Narshada and, you know, the enemies that you have here. If you just want to fight stormtroopers, you got to wait a few levels before you get to them. But, you know, it's, you know, the wait makes it kind of sweet because once you get to them, it's like, yeah, now I'm fighting the Imperials, man. So, if you can make it through the first few levels of this game, then... Um, you know, it's it's worth it. So don't be distressed by the first few levels. I, I admit I was, first time I played this game, I was like, uh, I don't want to be in Narshada or the next place we're going to go in the next mission, which I'm not going to say yet until we get there. Here's the last one. Um, that gives us a super shield which basically gives us uh, 100 and 200 at the bottom there, health and shields, and we're invincible for a set amount of time. So we're pretty much at the rooftops here. We go in here, mission objective completed. These guys are going to shoot at us, but Jan is going to land. See how that the thermal didn't hurt us. There we go. We cleared the area, and here's Jan to pick us up. So I figure I'll show you, uh, this is the kind of screen you get at the end of each mission. It'll show you how many secrets you've found. Um, if you find them all, and this is why it's important 
to find them all. Um, when you find all the secrets in one mission, you're going to earn a star. And then uh, that star can be allocated later on in the game to force powers to strengthen your force powers after you become a Jedi. So that's why I'm all about finding all the secrets because I want to have the most stars I can get for my force powers later in the game. Not essential, but um, you know, force powers are fun, so you know, I recommend it. It also shows you what Jedi rank you are. Right now we're uninitiated because we're not a Jedi yet. So, um, anyway, that's my little blurb on that. So uh, we'll see you in the next video um, after the next cutscene.